Welcome to 21st of June's Gauri Blessings. Supreme Father is teaching us a beautiful method of how to meditate here. So listen to this beautiful Vardhan carefully. May you be a constant yogi. Now, how do you become a constant yogi? Whose mind and intellect work actually, accurately, according to your orders. So if there is someone who is going to give order to somebody and that person listens to that order, then that person is listening to it and is working towards it, right? But if you give order to someone, that person doesn't listen to the order, then everything goes haywire, right? That means you are in you are not in control of that person. Similarly, over here, God says, the special powers for becoming a constant yogi, that is a master of yourself, are of are your mind and intellect. So I am a soul, and under me there are three powers which I have: mind, intellect, and habits. So if I, the soul, keep on giving directions to the mind to think some thoughts, then the mind thinks thoughts. The intellect creates visual effects of those thoughts which I have created. Let's say you are thinking of your uh, brother or sister. Then you think about the moments with them. You think about the picture. You think about how they look, how they must be. Then you are creating visual effects, right? That's what the intellect does. So mind and intellect, they work together. Now if you keep on focusing on any one person or thing or a situation or a future plan for a very long time, if you keep on making that picture in your intellect for a very long time, then that then you end up enacting upon it and you create it. You create that circumstance in your life. So mind thinks, intellect visualizes. If you visualize for a very long time upon it, then you keep on acting upon the same thing which you visualize. Whether you're visualizing something negative about yourself, then you act negative and you will create the same visual effects which you have been creating in your mind. See, I'm like this. It happens to me only. Now, if you want to change that, you start creating a different vision of yourself and then for a very long time, by the way, not just one second, two seconds, but over a very long time through meditation, then you'll enact upon it and then you'll change your life. The mantra itself is Man Mana Bhav. Focus your mind on me. But for that, you have to Man Mana. You have to make the mind listen to you. Mana Na. To make the mind listen to you. To make the mind agree to listen to you. So that yoga is said to be yoga of the intellect. So that you are able to visualize Godfather for a very long time, for a very long period of time as compared to visualizing some problems of your life, some people in your life, some relationship issues, some financial issues. So if you think of financial issues, then those visual effects will come into your mind. So if those special powers are under your control, that is, if they work properly, that means my mind is listening to me, my intellect is visualizing only what I wanted to visualize, that means when I, the soul, give command to my mind and intellect, they do exactly what I want them to do. If you are able to focus your intellect on whatever you want, and your intellect does not make you, the king, wander, but works with discipline, that means my mind and my intellect listen to me, the soul, with so much of willpower, you would then be said to be a constant yogi. So this is the method of yoga. Om Shanti.